Hello, my dear sausage mashers. And you must be wondering, well, what for the love of God is this? Ah, uh, yeah, the American Revolution mod for Empire Total War. Now, do not fret. We have not quit and abandoned our Imperial Destroyer Kingdom of France campaign that is still going to be lurking about on the channel. This is a side feature, this little tidbit here. Because as you see, I'm in a bit of a revolutionary kick for the moment, and not for these people. I'm going for these people. I'm feeling like playing as a loyalist, as we must, of course. And we're going to be crushing the American Revolution in this little series. And to start it off, well, the toilet trap. Better watch that when you next time you go to use the facility. Because uh, the watchmaker Alexander Cumming of Bond Street, also an engineer of some note, has developed an addition to the flushing toilet to trap foul air and water via a valve and a layer of fresh water from the cistern. Because you see, when the flush is pulled, the valve opens and the flush starts. It then closes automatically after the waste has been flushed away and the fresh water layer is replaced, trapping the smell and stopping it from wafting up from the pipe. We don't want wafting scents. No, that's very nasty. However, welcome to the eastern seaboard of the continental United States here. As you can tell, it's a little divided at the moment. Very unfortunate. Our capital is up here in Quebec, up in the previous French colony of New France. And we got quite a little force in here, which is a North Carolina rifleman. Isn't it quite odd for them to be up there? But we don't question, no. We go to, uh, to go to massacre, yes. Looks like we're going to need to do quite a bit of field consolidation here. Lawrence Tully. Got quite a little significant force. Ooh, the 5th Foot Northumberland Fusiliers and the Queen's Rangers Dragoons. Let's merge up all these troops down here, which we do have quite a few of. We can get rid of all these British General's bodyguards. We don't, we don't need them. And yes, the King's Royal Regiment and some artillery. Marvelous. I do believe that should be significant. Yes? Yes. So what have we got going on up here? Ah, Henry Clinton. Yes, the man. He did become the commander-in-chief of the, uh, the forces in British North America here during the Revolution. So let's just name him so he appears in the battlefield. There we go. And it looks like he's got Delancey's Brigade and the 17th Light Dragoons. Who are they? Ah, New York Loyalists known as Delancey's Brigade. One of the largest organizations raised in New York. Most of three battalions raised by Oliver Delancey. Well, oh, that's cute, isn't it? They're definitely going to have to take Philadelphia, so we shall march on that nasty bit there. What the world? Mohawk Indian Muskiman. Well, you know what? Everything we can get, please use it. Ah, here's the man. We don't talk about something that starts with a Y and ends with an N, if you can figure out what location we're referring to here. We're going to move him south, and we're going to put him with this army down here. He can take command of the southern campaign. That's going to be against the Spanish, because they got New Orleans. Oh, that's quite nasty. We want that for ourselves. Now, this is a massive force. If we take these troops, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, f mm, we don't need all them down there, do we? No. We can actually... Ah, so we only need... One, two, three. We only need three. Really. And... We can take another one of these. Uh... Yeah. Take one, of, take one of them down there. And over here. Leaks Jessup's Loyalist Corps. Do we have any of that in this army currently? I don't believe so. No. So we're going to take one of them and take them down there. And then General Cornwallis is going to pop into that. What else can we throw in here? We're pretty balanced out, aren't we? Pretty well balanced. Let's take the King's Royal Regiment. Yes, the King's Royal Regiment of New York, who are for some reason down in Georgia and Florida. I don't understand. It's just the trivialities in life, isn't it? 
So let's take these and we'll merge them and we'll get rid of this extra generous bodyguard. And we're going to march them up to a unite with Mr. Clinton and not the one that's popular nowadays. Oliver Fox, he is a gentleman and a scholar. So we're going to send him to the school in Brunswick. And he's going to do some research here. You know, we for some reason don't have these technologies, so I think we should just go ahead and research down every research tree here. Plug bayonet, common land enclosures, and empiricism. Very nice. Now we've got this lovely little field forest already ready for a scrap under the most vivacious William Howe. Isn't he magnificent? The monster of Bunker Hill. Eh, you know, people learn from their mistakes. The 1st Battalion, Royal Highland Emigrants. You are hereby empowered with the officers under your command, by beat of drum or otherwise, to enlist for his majesty's service in any of his provinces in North America, such Highlanders or such other loyal subjects as you may be able to procure. And would you look at that? Those are some saucy little fish. And we're going to combine them. I think for now, though, we're going to move these troops into Falmouth here. Ah, yes, yeah, so let's bring these down. And we will keep this extra bodyguard as some additional cavalry. Here we got just some regular line and things. Because this is where the Americans' actual force that they contend with us is located. Now, over here, we've got a bunch of troops scattered through the Canadas here. Lord Dunmore is Ethiopians. Very interesting regiment. Now, technically, we could go and siege New York right now. But we're not going to do that exactly yet. What we will do, however, is we do need a general here. I just noticed this. So let's make the general's bodyguard a general. And we'll go and move this force to raid that mine, I think. And then we'll move these troops down to join up with them. And these troops here, we can send them down to join up in Falmouth. There, we can start reinforcing the northern areas. I believe we, we can also just go ahead and straight out siege Philadelphia right at the moment. Get them stuck in. And we've got these little boats. Do we have any other boats anywhere? Oh, we do, yes. Okay, so let's bring them down and try to merge them up. Now, it's a bit of a risk, since there are quite a substantial amount of enemy fleets about, but such we must contend with. Let's go ahead and do some upgrading now, because I do believe that is all the forces we need to maneuver. Yeah. Oh, down here, yes, we got this port. Let's not... <laughs> hey, the Royal Americans... Let's not lose that, so we'll garrison that. And I think that's it. I think that's good. Cherokee are allied. Iroquois are allied. The Huron Wayandut. Can we... I wonder. We can trade with them, and let's see if they'll ally with us. I'm just curious. Yeah, we got nothing there. Oh, wonderful. We are playing on hard hard, by the way, for the difficulty settings for this. That helps secure our northern border there. We don't got to worry about that just yet. Thank God. We're going to start with building up the ports because that's rather substantial. We're going to make trading ports. Uh, fishing fleet, you know, it's, it's already made. So, trading port next. Fishing fleet, fishing fleet. And that's the ports. Money. We must have the money of the trade and things. And you know, oh dear, that was very, very fast. Let's let's lower the tax rate, because that seemed to be the issue that started all this nonsense. And over here in Virginia, I think we can go ahead and we should be safe to make the craft workshops, I do believe. There we go. I want to try and build up the buildings that don't exist yet, like this one here. Montreal, you're, you're happy enough. Let's go for the craft workshops too then. Ah, uh, here's another. You know, they should be fine, I think, to make craft workshops and all these. Fur trader, absolutely. What else can we get? Just building up these ones that don't exist. Peasant farms. Helps enhance our economy quite vigorously. Cotton or tobacco? 
Let's see the trade. What is stronger right now? Cotton 16 and tobacco 15. Let's go for cotton. It is the south after all. Ha ha ha. Let's not speak about such things. Eh? I think that's it. That's, yeah. All right. So let's try and build up some more troops here while we're at it. We have a max of those, I think. The Irish Loyalist Volunteers, or the Volunteers of Ireland, as they were actually known as during the war. Oh, mm, dear. We should probably build up that governor's residence pretty quick. And up here. Oh, look at the stuff we can make. Ah, oh, the 35th Regiment. I have to, I'm sorry. They've got to be acquired. And from Quebec. Oh, wow, look at all this stuff. Holy, okay. Johnson's Royal Regiment of New York, absolutely. The Newfoundland Regiment. Well, and that's saucy. They're actually very accurate for skirmishers. Let's get them. And, and the Hertfordshire. Yes, the 49th. They had quite a bit of fun in Canada. And, yeah, we're going to need to build that up, too. And I think that's overall pretty good. Yes. Strikes me as being spectacular. We should probably build roads where there's not really any. Like there, basic roads in Kayaga. Anything else? Yes, basic roads in Agvatuk. And I think that's that. Alrighty. Did we do anything here? I feel like we should upgrade that. Can we recruit anything else? You know, I probably should have recruited something down there. Should no, I don't need to. These are coming up. We got those nice reinforcements, and the Americans are not substantial in Philadelphia. Right. I think that is it for the first turn, and we can go ahead and end it off and see what happens to us. Let's go. Uh-oh, no, 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 no. It's the Yankee Daddle Dippies. Let's pull back. Please don't pursue. Thank God. Why would I want to give you Newfoundland for Curacao? Mind you, that's a nice chunk of change, but we don't need the money. They're allied, though, so let's not outright reject it. We can't really trade anything, so let's just clear the offer. And here we're back again. Another gentleman. Oh, good, and he's already put himself into a school. How useful. Toilet drops back. Peasant farm was made. Wonderful. Recruitment is up and running. God save the king. Right, let's keep moving our troops up. Yes. Bring you to Mr. Clinton. What have they even got in there? Garrison, militia, and firelock citizenry. Sounds like the armed forces down there now, doesn't it? Oh, hold on. Right. Let's just merge you up, and you're good to go. Go get New Orleans, please, because that's filthy stuff. Oh, yeah, there they go. Deary me. All right. Let's build these in here. That's, stu that's substantial. Let's start the march on... On New York. Right. Bring these troops to merge together. Yay! Oh, no, we must do... 35th Regiment of Foot, indeed. I want them to be known. And over here. Ah, most marvelous. I will declare the 49th Regiment of Foot. Foot. And we're going to march them down. I think we should send them to reinforce New York when we start that attack. Right, let's get some more of those Irish loyalists. And, ooh, the Brigade of Guards. Absolutely, throw it at them. Up here, the Queen's Rangers Hussars, please. They are well trained in the way of survival and stealth. Few regiments or officers have influenced more the development of the British Army. Ah, oh, vivacious. Oh, and the Anspach Beirut Grenadiers we must have. What else do we have here? East Norfolk Regiment. Why the bloody El not, eh? Ah, oh, anything else to recruit? Irish Loyalists, pretty much. 
That's it, I would say, down there. We should probably start reinforcing our troops down here in the Caribbean. Let's get some Jamaica Regiment. Oh, that needs building. <laughs> Just so that we can handle these little people down here. So let's build up these governor's residences. And should probably build that up down there as well. And then you're going to have to do that, yeah. Alrighty. Other than that, things looking pretty good. Do you think? I think we can go siege that. Would that be wise? Or should we wait for the next turn, perhaps? Perhaps we should wait for the next turn. I wonder if that would be beneficial. So let's go ahead and then start building more of our towns. What can we build here in the capital? Conservatorium, sure, and the governor's residence. Probably beneficial. Governor's encampment, I would say so there. Residences to put the Looney Tunes in. Ah, uh, uh, uh. Uh, shall we uh, end it up? Ah, I forgot about the damn boats. I always forget the bloody boats. No. Oh, it looks like they're coming out to play. Isn't that sweet? Well, Horace, dear. Such a dear, you know. Let's go ahead and uh, label this Tickle Time and save it and play it. I have not yet begun to fight. That was the thing on the wonderful loading screen. Oh, what in the world has happened with our camera? Oh, well, that's weird. Controls. Very, very odd. Let's try that. There we go. I don't know what was going on there. Now, you see, they're attacking us, so we don't really got to worry too much. Let's take Clinton and put him over here. And in the middle of our line, I'd say we should probably put the Volunteers of Ireland. Let's, let's set up over here. I like three ranks. Best thing about this mod is to look at your people, because they're gorgeous. Look at these outfits. You know, that's the outfit that they wore. Absolutely, because, you know, the picture's right there. Yes. Wonderful. Formed of Irish loyalists. The Mohawk Indian musket men do let us put them over here. Actually, I think they can go harass through the trees. And they'll be hidden. Thankfully, no Magua today. We, uh, if you were around for the 13 Colonies campaign, you will very well remember that guy. And we've got Delancey's Brigade. Wow, that's pretty big, isn't it? Holy. Let's look at them. Are you special? You look pretty saucy. I would like that hat. Right, so what do we got left? The 17th Light Dragoons. Put him over here. And if we've seen the Patriot, you know, this type of hat, I'm pretty sure. But we're going to go kill them. So let us begin. Ah, they're over here, pissers. Delancey. Oh. 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 Da, 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 da. That's wonderful. Love it. I did select the Lily Burlero Fife and Drum Accompaniment because I love that special little tune. We gotta have these fish. Come creep up. Yes. Oh no, you're not hidden anymore. Bloody native. Go on. Run into it then. Let's see their militia. Yes, I would say that looks pretty, uh... Pretty Yankee Doodle. And then of course we've got your basic... Shit rag testots. And we'll bring up... Mr. Clinton... And he can act as some shock cavalry on the left flank. 
Ah, uh, you know, this is distressing me. Are they actually gonna go into the bloody fort? You're not supposed to use it. We're here to play with you. Let us listen. Oh, don't you get the tingles going down your bits? I most certainly do. What are you doing? I'm not sure what you're doing. I don't like it, though. Let's bring you over here. Where's that cavalry? Could you please go figure out what in the world is happening over there? I think they're trying to get inside. I think they're trying to do that. Let's not have that, eh? Let's not have that. That's distressing me. These guys aren't having it either. Golly. You are to be ended. Please fire. I know you people shoot. So please begin it. Do it. Do your shooty shooty bang bang thing. Come on, here you go. Give it a go. Give it a go. Good lord. You can't shoot, can you? The alcoholics. Ah, oh, damn, now they're... I don't know what in the world. Can we not climb the wall? That's stupid. Yeah. Get them. Please. Try to enter the damned fort. I have no clue what in the world is going on here. Let's put these guys here. This is so weird. This is bizarre. Yeah, that's not going very well now, is it? Let's see if Mr. Clinton can do anything to help here. Dear. Oh boy. You know, the perfect bit about it is it's the Irish volunteers and they're marching to Lily Berlero. An Irish march. I think that's terrific. Now, we absolutely have to keep this gate available and accessible, so... I think we're just going to need to storm the damn thing. I think that's how this is going to go. There we go. We got the loyalists in there? We do. Ah, oh, there goes Clinton. Everyone's in for the fun. Hold on, what the hell? Did they all get knocked out by him? Jeez. Go in for it. Just fight your way through the damn gate. That's horrible. That is really horrible. Yeah. I need you in there. And we got you in there. And we've got you. Seems to go better when you just individually select and command them to attack. <laughs> Look at that. Absolute buggery. What in the world? Fighting for the gates of Philadelphia. I think that's hilarious. That's just... <laughs> Look at us trying to get our, our way in there. Boy. How we doing? Absolutely crushing that garrison militia. They're wavering. I have never seen it happen like... Oh, dear. Happen like this before. Oh. Oh, dear. Well. <laughs> oh, wow. Monstrous, isn't it? 
do we need to continue telling you to attack? I believe so. 136 down from 300, all in melee combat. We're gonna lose so many people from this battle, but at this point, it's just hilarious. Just look at this type of fight. Uh, it's on hard hard, so I have no idea what the AI is thinking. But I suppose it's working, because they're killing a crap ton of us. Oh. Oh, we killed, uh, we killed Oris deer. Such a deer. That means these guys should run extremely quickly. There they go. Trailing off. Ta-ta. Oh, yes, and see, I selected the, uh, the Grand Union flag. The early stage of the war here. These are not going to last very long. They're wavering. Can we not break through, is my question. Like, can we not try and get through them? Oh, wow. We've actually got the lag for the siege. It's actually doing that. Can we fast forward this? Oh, would you look at that? We finally won the bloody thing. Isn't it hilarious? God. We lost far too many people for that rubbish. However, we did capture the damn thing. Oh, what in hell? The Plains Nations are going after the Iroquois. Well, we better help the Iroquois. Uh, so now we're, we're at war with these people as well as Spain out here. So we got a bit of a Western campaign coming up for us anyway. A lunar society. They spend the time looking at the moon. Luna. Uh, this is depressing. Look at that. At least we got some experience from the troops. Yeah. Now we've got to repair the absolute crap out of the place. Since it has seen better days. And we'll go ahead and move those reinforcing troops up. Uh, we, we took it without even needing the reinforcements, but... Time for the Siege of Albany. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a force in there, isn't it? You are absolutely going to be beneficial over here. Now we can merge all of you together to go siege Boston. Demand the surrender of the skunks. What do they have? Virginia Dragoons? Third Light Dragoons, a bunch of these guys. Garrison Minutemen and Veteran Minutemen. Oh, I'm terrified, absolutely horrifying. Let's bring down Brigade of Guards. Oh, it's going to be delicious. And these guys. <laughs> I'm just going to outnumber the crappy things. Ah. Oh. I'm so glad the world is square. Let's build more stuff down here. We can't do it there yet. That's de very depressing. Definitely need the military governor's encampment down there. We need troops in the Caribbean. Not squidlets. We do need to make more troops here to now go after the planes. That's the other thing. Uh, the 42nd, indeed. Royal Regiment of Foot. And let's go for the 15th Lights. Why not? Over here, what can we grab? Uh, the Grenadier Brunswick von Rediesel. Rediesel, however you say that. The Queen's Own Light Dragoons. I think we should get those sauce pots. Marvelous. Let us now go on to our buildings. What is our cheapest stuff? That has been raided. That is not nice. Cheapest stuff anywhere at all? The body house is okay. Mm, I like going for cheap things first. 
Yeah, so I guess the 2,000 things we can certainly work on making, then. Uh, what was that? What was it? Oh. Anything else for 2,000 we can do here? Hmm, that was something. There we go. Uh, we don't need to worry about them. The Spaniards we must evict. Anyway. Yes. Uh, uh-huh. Let's do the fleet before I forget to merge the damn thing again. Wonderful. Richard Howe, if you please, chase the Yankees. I think we're good to end the turn. They didn't come out to play. Aw. Well, at least we got some technological advancements. We went for the carbines now. Oh, delicious. I don't think so. I think we'll go for the ring bayonet. That's more useful. You're not done that yet. Social contract is up next. That's pretty handy. Construction report. And all that junk. Let's continue the march to New Orleans. This time, when the British attack New Orleans, they will take it. Refused. Gregorio Cardenas. We've got the 17th Grenadiers, bunch of Louisiana infantry, a mortar, and some constipated pigeons. Let us siege them. They are filth. We must now continue to build up the recaptured massive settlement of Philadelphia. Let's make some marines and some company of select marksmen. There, we will make these people pay. They must, absolutely must, redo themselves. I think up here we can make that building. We can make a civilian one there. Yes, let's, uh, let's merge them in the army. Very good. You, you were coming down this way, that is correct. Let's form you as a reinforcing brigade here. And we'll send them down as well. Because that army under Howe is full. Momentarily, anyway. So these troops, we're going to be using these troops now to send an army against the Plains Nations. Because they're actually marching up towards the Iroquois. And we should probably fulfill some obligations to our allies. <laughs> we should get these guys so the natives can fight natives. No, they're not very good, though. Rogers Rangers. Absolutely. The 33rd Grenadiers. Most definitely. And I think another troop of the Queen's Rangers Hussars would be beneficial. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to focus on building up those military uh, settlements there down here can we continue yes yeah, second nottingham regiment what about over here anything yet nothing yet sucky all right and we've still got the continued sieges of the rebellious yankee doodles and i think we'll go deal with that uh that little american fleet sitting out there in the next upcoming part of the American Revolution, crushing the rebellion. Thank you very much for coming out to watch the film today. We're going to end it off here, and I'm just going to continue building a couple things, like these uh, seaports here. Let's, go, let's get those. And we will also continue with our regular buildings. And I think that's pretty well it. We can probably make a road. Let's do it in... Actually, do we have one here? No, let's do one up here in our capital. There we go. So, I'll see you next time. I'm glad you have joined the Loyalist cause and are rightfully putting the treasonous doodles back to their rightful positions. Huzzah. Ta-ta.